His obituary described him as one of the most respected residents of the Hamptons. But the important legacy of former slave Pyrrhus Conser was lost in the last century. Well, it took a scandal to ignite a community. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is in Southampton. This historic Southampton home overlooking Agawam Lake was demolished by a wealthy couple after buying the property. It is now an empty field, sparking community outrage. 51 Pond Lane had been the homestead of Pyrrhus Conser, explains curator Dr. Georgette Greer Key. Time's been lost and his story was sealed away. Pyrrhus Conser's story, born indentured in 1814, sold into slavery in the Hamptons. Most people don't even think there were slaves even in the north but this man was a former slave he was sold at five years old worked on a farm he became a whaler Pyrrhus Conser gained his freedom at age 18 ran a ferry service from village land to ocean and he was beloved by this community the grandfather to all the community children he would take them on his cap ferry boat across to the beach and sailed to Japan believed to be the first black man to do so the Japanese was actually trying to rub his skin because they had never seen a person of color before. Pyrrhus Conser returned to his beloved Southampton, becoming a wealthy businessman and philanthropist. Our local black history has been something that has been uh, ignored. And now overdue honors. Tasked with this project, um, I have taken it to my heart, um, professionally and personally. The property was returned to the town. A grassroots movement helped salvage the original beams and framing. The Architectural Review Board voted unanimously to designate the site an historic landmark. Now village, town, and private donors are helping fund the Pyrrhus Concert House restoration. To be able to restore his uh, fairly humble house here in Southampton Village, one of the wealthiest places in the world, and a lot of the wealth here is, uh, is old money. Really was on the backs of exploitation and slavery. When we rebuild his home, his history and achievements will be at the forefront of New York and um, the country's history. Pyrrhus Conser died 125 years ago. Now a new chance to pay homage to his legacy. From Southampton Village, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And during his lifetime, Pyrrhus Conser began a widow and children's educational fund through the First Presbyterian Church, and it still exists today in Southampton. As Black History Month continues, you will see a series of stories here on CBS2 News. You can also find more reports at cbsnewyork.com.